it was a talk uh, about the relation between counting and uh, geometry. So um, between things that we consider discrete, that we can deal with uh, fi finite things that we can count, and geometry that we can think of as something more continuous and varying and smooth. So these two things seem different worlds, but they actually are very intimately connected. Um, well, it, it brings uh, various areas of mathematics together, so I like to think that it's, um, it's well situated somehow. Um, because the ultimate goal is to obtain some geometric information and, um, and that's not exactly my personal area, but so I understand the intrinsic interest of those questions, but my, uh, my, what I gave to this project is somewhat of the other component associated to the discrete, and that has inputs from combinatorics, symmetric functions, um, representation theory, things of number theory. So it's somewhat located at a at a equidistance from various areas. So uh, and uh, I like to think that the problems are of interest, are of cu are current interest. Um, so I grew up in Argentina and, and did all my undergraduate studies there. And um, when I was a kid, I always had um, interest in math, and I did fairly well in, in the classes and so on. But I didn't even know that you could make a living. Uh, there was a profession uh, of mathematician. And um, I always thought that would be an engineer. And so I, after finishing high school, I went to engineering school. And I was there for about a year and a half. And I started to notice that mostly the things that interest me from the classes were the mathematical aspects of of the various problems and uh, slowly I came to realize that maybe that was what I should be doing so I switched to mathematics and um, and even then um, I th thought I would stay and do applied mathematics because I was somewhat still connected to some engineering aspects but um, you know slowly I took a few classes uh, and um, and I realized that I actually liked mathematics in itself. And so it was a slow kind of process. Um, I think it's a good one. Um, mathematics uh, seems to be thriving. And there's a, a keen interest in mathematics from, from people that continue to come and study and work. Also from, from uh, people that are not in mathematics that are interested in um, they're curious. They, it seems that the mathematics seems to always generate a lot of interest in the public in general. Uh, they, they seem to always be intrigued by what's going on and what they'd like to know. The public lectures tend to be very popular. And yesterday we had uh, Diaconis lecture that was incredibly uh, popular, and so I have no uh, no fear for future mathematics. I think it. Without doing anything, it will continue to do as well as it has. Well, I, I, I guess I tend to think that uh, somewhat I, was, I said this in my talk. Um, I think most people, if asked to decide whether the world is continuous or discrete, will probably think that it's continuous. But I think more and more we come to realize that it's actually disc more discrete than, than continuous. So it seems, you know, computers are not going to go away, whether we like what they're doing to us and what they do for us. And, uh, and that is, is a kind of math, is ultimately a type of mathematics that, that will be required. And I, I'm sure that will just continue to be extreme, extremely important and, and necessary. Uh, so uh, if I have to choose one, I would say somewhat associated to this weakness will, will be something that will on, only continue to grow. Yeah.